mom and I, for the most part, we like to think we know our way around a bike, even if it's just our own bikes. I mean, we've wrenched on them, we've raced them, we've ridden bikes around the world. Because we ride so many trails, and we're lucky enough to do that, we like to have our bikes feeling consistent, so we're ready to adapt for any trail we ride. However, take away those pressure gauges, those fancy shock pumps and things, and how well do we really know those trusty steeds that we spend so much time with? To test ourselves, we're going to take on a triathlon of challenges here in the workshop. It's gonna include some really, really fun bits and some squishy bits as well. Today, the loser gets the privilege to clean the winner's bike completely with my toothbrush. Let the games begin. Challenge number one, the gap, AKA the grip accuracy pressure challenge. You know when you're at the top of a trail and your mate lets out a bit of air and you use that high-tech thumb of yours to say, hey, are you gonna run that? Well, that's what this test is all about. We're gonna see how close we can guess the PSI in these three different tires with our high-tech thumb pressure gauge. Three points on offer for this round. Let's get into it. Okay, wait, I have ridden a pressure like this before. I'm one down, mate, keep up. Oh. I've got Christina's XC tire here. All right, what's this? This is a super gravity. Oh, that one's really firm too. Is that actually how firm you run your tires? Uh, I don't know, it's a definite possibility, wow. Christina. Nobby, Nick, I mean, how many PSIs do the white walls add? Can you see that? This, this gives no squish. Process of elimination, I'm gonna call that 69 PSI. Is that what you put down? Yeah, give or take. I'm pretty confident that I've got none of these right. Are you double guessing yourself, mate? Just double checking. Mm. Okay, I feel good about that. Okay, you've gone 14, I've gone 12. One minute, two. Ooh, 15.5. Ah, one point, Christina. 15.5, that is not actually what I run my pressure at, just so you know. Tire number two, the all mountain tire. I said 32, which is firmer than I would ever run my tires, and you said 25. I said 25, which is on the firm end of what I'd run a front tire on, but maybe. Let me Wait, see. I don't trust you. No, no, let me see this time. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, okay. come on, peer reviewed science here. 37! <laughs> I... 37! Would you actually run that firmness? Yeah, definitely. I'm all about speed. My bike can already feel itself getting clean. No! Great. This is looking yeah. like a pantsing, because this other tire was way harder than this one. <laughs> <laughs> Last tire, the downhill tire, I said, 35, which was less than what the trail tire was before. <laughs> What'd you say? I said 43. I don't know what that is in bar. Somebody's gonna get upset with Okay, this. I can, you can have okay, the honors because I, I think I know which way this is gonna go. 56, jeebus, 56. So uh, I reckon that's a point for me. Uh, that's a pants to me. Christina swept yep. this round. Yep. Challenge two, we have got the jumps challenge. What does that stand for? Well, it's judging unknown measurements for precision with our suspension. So this challenge actually has two sub challenges. Three points up for grab each. The first challenge, we're going to try to guess what the other person changed in the setting. Second part of the challenge, we'll then try to get the fork back to how it felt before which should be the easy part, right? We ride these bikes all the time. To begin this challenge, Tom and I have already written down our baseline settings. So we're gonna each leave the room and give each other free reign to completely erase the work we've done. Again, we've got three points up for grab there for closest PSI, low speed compression, and rebound. Let's get it on. All right, Christina's outside. It's time for me to mess with it. So first place to start would be PSI. I'm just gonna leave it. If I was in her shoes, I'd be messing with me and not changing anything as well. Now, compression. I've got to do my dirtiest tricks here. Okie dokie, whip this guy off. Rebound, she runs it pretty fast. So let's just slow down a little bit. We'll take off a bit of rebound. I'm going to pull out another dirty trick and cover up the slow, fast sticker on the fork just to try throw off a little bit. So according to Tom, he's got 65 PSI, eight clicks of rebound and eight clicks of low speed compression. I want to leave it so close that he thinks that I've completely f***ed it, but I haven't. I'm gonna go up to 72. I think I'm gonna have to tape up his little cheater code here. I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, five. Low speed compression. One, two, three, four, five. 
All right, Tom, let's do this. Compression's really hard to actually test when you're not out riding. This is my technical sag test too. Ah, uh, nice option. Ooh, it's a little firmer. Yeah, I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna do my accurate sag test, which is gonna be a bit more rinky-dink than yours. I don't think you've changed it. What's my mid-stroke willow feeling like? My suppleness, my Supple. compression. It's really hard to tell when it's in a workshop, but it feels quite firm to push through. So I reckon you've cranked that low speed Ooh. compression up. So Tom, now we both know what we think each other did to our forks. We've got that written down, but part two of this challenge is we gotta make our fork feel the same as we did before. So to keep things fair, we've already taped out the pressure gauge. We just have to go on feel. Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. So I reckon you are trying to mess with me and didn't change rebound. I don't think you messed with my pressure. I think my pressure is spot on. I have to admit I'm quite flustered. <laughs> what did she do to this thing? <laughs> I'm working hard to take this victory here, Christina, and I'm actually gonna totally change my guess. I actually reckon you put air in there, and now after my second guess of myself, I'm gonna say you took air out. Still waiting on Tom. 25% on the main. Results time, points are awarded to whoever guesses closest to the new setup. Okay, what's your first guess for PSI, Christina? I reckon you changed my PSI to 57, a little bit firmer. Okay, you think I made it one PSI higher? Yeah. I think you increased my PSI by four to 69 PSI. Way. What did you actually increase my PSI I actually to? increased your PSI by nothing. Ah! I had my base PSI at 65. Yeah. What did you change it to? 72. Oh, I was only, there's only one point PSI difference. So a point for Christina, moving on. Rebound Christina, I thought that you didn't change mine at all. Okay. You left it at eight clicks. Okay, I think similarly, but I think you did change it just a little bit, just to throw me off. I think you went to 15 instead of 13. Made it faster or slower? Faster. <sighs> okay, I made yours six clicks slower. Slower. Are we counting from the right side? I doubt it. And I think you didn't change it. I changed it from eight to five. So you were off by three. First points and to me. I was Woo. off by how many? You're off by a uh, lot. one point to Tom, four to Christina. <laughs> okay, compression. What did you think I did to your compression? I know that you added compression. You turned it to four fifths of the way from up there. Pretty close. I yes. called it three fifths. Okay. okay, so you're one fifth off. We'll work out the percentage later. We'll get our math boffin on that. Uh, I think you made my compression slightly firmer mm -hmm. by two clicks. So you think I changed it from eight to 10? Yep. Uh -uh. Eight to five. Ah! Okay, well, I mean, we don't need the math boffins to work out that uh, you get another bloody point. Oh, but wait, there's a second part of this challenge. Okay, our dials are back on. Thankfully, we didn't lose any screws uh, for too long there. We don't know that we put our dials on in the correct position, so let's <laughs> count it. Six. I would say that was... That was five. Five. So I'm, I'm at five. I should have been at eight. I wanted to make my compression one fifth of the way from opens, 20%. But let's see if I actually put the dial on correctly. So... Oh, I did. Another point, Christina. Thanks, mate. The current scores, end of challenge two. I think we're looking at eight points Ooh. to Christina, one point to Tom. <laughs> Sick. All yeah. right, luckily last round's worth triple the points. Triple bazillion points. Yeah. It's all or nothing. I don't know why I signed up for this because I'm clearly in the lead. Uh, let's get rid of these bikes and set up for challenge three. All right, the third and final challenge. Now, I'm dangerously far behind on the points, and luckily for me, this final round is worth one million points, and it is the BRAP challenge, AKA the Blindfolded Repair Air Around Pipe Challenge, which to anyone else in the world means blindfolded tube repair. So, what we're gonna do, change a tube, blindfolded, and inflate that tube to 22 PSI. Not sure why we chose 22, but we did. So what we'll be judged on is time to change tube, workman, workwomanship, as well as how close we can inflate that tube to 22 PSI blindfolded. Let's get into it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you didn't have a cap on? I did. Ah, nice work. I'm fast fingers. Oh, there's a lot of air in here. 
should have picked a flatter tire to start with. Yes, good thing. I know that's work. Okay. There she is. Where are the, oh, fudge. Sickle. There's no telling. Where are the hole at? Uh oh, where's the valve gone? Oh no. Oh, you smarty cat. I'm having a small heart attack. <laughs> This is so funny not being able to see anything. I'm gonna put that in there for safekeeping. Okay. Don't forget, Tom, we're testing workmanship. You know, you don't want to pinch that tire. Oh, my hands are shaking. The nerves are pumping. A million points are on the line. <laughs> oh, I've got some seepage. Yeah, we did definitely have sealant in these tires, so my clothes are probably ruined. This Come is going to get a little messy. Come a little chubby. <laughs> oh, my hands are so slippery from the ceiling. <laughs> he took all the tire levers. <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Okay, they're actually gone. I can't find the hole. There it is. Hey, I'm bumping. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, we both have super gravity casing tires on carbon rims, 29 inch. So basically the hardest setup you could ever ask for. Okay, I feel good about it. I feel good about it too. Cool it. Let's see. How was that for you? Well, look, I'm not gonna lie. There was a bit of PTSD there thrown back to old Pink Black Academy season one, but I don't know. It went surprisingly faster than I thought it would. What about you? Yeah, we actually had to go back to the replay. It was so tight on who got the tire on first, but technically Tom did beat me to the pump, so. Uh, there wasn't much in it. I needed something from this game. Um, but next category obviously would have been workmanship and workwomanship. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite proud of myself because usually mm -hmm. I'm the pig in the sty and I'm pretty happy with the lack of sealant that's everywhere. just swap them. Let's just judge yep. each other. Good hey? call. Nice work. You've got the O-ring and the cap on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say not not super nice work for Tom. Yeah, it's a that's little... That's as wonky uh, as a donkey. But Christina, there's not much bead on here, mate. I was worried about that. I was really worried when I only heard one pop. But you know what? He's not fully seated there either. I'm gonna call a draw, because a not seat is a not seat on that. <laughs> I would run that, but you've seen before. I would probably run anything. Tom would also run five PSI, which is precisely how much is in here. Okay, what and else? what about spillage uh, work stands? I think we did pretty good. I mean, there's no hiding white sealant, and <laughs> we it? even still look <laughs> yeah, clean. We... Give me some knocks for workmanship. Yeah, I think, good I think work. you took the time. I think I won the workmanship just because my valve looks way better and straighter. So what you're telling me, Christina, is that after all your the million points. after your very extended lead, it all comes down to the tire pressure. How close is it to 22 psi? Let's see. All right, here you go. You can have yours back. Oh, you I don't do... want you to accidentally think you got the right psi. <laughs> okay. So again, closest to 22 psi. Let's see how my thumb pressure is. I can't believe you think that's 22. Look. It's... You're still letting air out. This is great. Okay, moment of truth. Okay. I've gone from over ambitious to under ambitious at a whopping 16.0 PSI. <laughs> I might as well go get my toothbrush now. You were at 16? Oh, better than I was in the first round at least. <gasps> oh, you're running, mate. No way! <laughs> I can't show you, but I did say 22. I think that's only fair enough to sum up this whole set of challenges. This triathlon, if you will. <laughs> what a gag. I think your 22.0 blindfolded on the nose sums up the day because final scores. Christina Chapetta, 1 million and 8. Tom Bradshaw, 1. <laughs> I really didn't think I was that out of touch with my bike or setup, but apparently so. Honestly, Tom, I'm impressed by those numbers as well. Not gonna lie. I wonder if that out of tuneness with our bike setup affects our riding? I don't know. That's a different video for a different day. But for now, let us know what other bike shop challenges we can test our experience with how else we can challenge ourselves. And if you're into bike informational videos, then make sure to subscribe because we do also make those videos. Today, maybe it wasn't our best testament. <laughs>
All right, mate. I guess I'd better get scrubbing. Gentle on the paint job, okay? Thanks, mate.